Hi, my name is Jennifer Alex Garcia, and I'm a professor of applied economics at Oregon State University. Today we're going to talk about what is welfare economics. The term welfare is used quite a bit in applied economics, and frequently the way that economists use this term differs from what non-economists mean. In particular, you'll often hear the word welfare used to describe a suite of government programs designed to support individuals with low incomes. While economists will also sometimes use this definition of welfare, the term also has a very specific meaning within the economics profession. Welfare economics is a field of economics that studies the well-being of society. This includes trying to understand both total well-being and the distribution of resources among different groups in society. A core feature of welfare economics is the assessment of well-being, which economics measures using the concept of utility. One definition of utility is the level of satisfaction that a person gets from their particular circumstances. A major concern in welfare economics is the way resources are distributed in any economy. The goal is that they be spread around in a way that achieves the highest level of welfare possible. This means that trading goods between any two people would result in one of them being worse off. Welfare economics is also interested in whether or not a certain outcome is equitable, meaning that no person wants what another person has. Of course, we don't always have solutions that lead to this kind of outcome, and it's not always true that what was efficient is equitable and vice versa. But the idea of welfare is something that economists use to guide our thinking on these topics. So what does this mean in practical terms? Well, are you interested in whether a tax on carbon will help or hurt the United States and who might pay the costs and gain the benefits? This is a question for welfare economics. Do you want to know how health insurance affects the quantity of health care services delivered? This is also a question for welfare economics. Are you interested in who wins and loses if there's a drought in California or if the U.S. joins a regional trade agreement? Welfare economics can help you.